Hi, I'm Amy Riolo with Harris Teeter, and today we're discussing gluten-free flours. The first one I'd like to talk about is buckwheat. Buckwheat is an ancient flour that's really popular in Eastern European baking. You may be familiar with it from French crepes. Buckwheat is a great alternative. It has a nice nutty flour taste, so whenever you use it, you'd want to use about 20% of buckwheat and then mix in some other flours. Then we can talk about our rice flour. Rice flour is probably the most commonly used flour substitute that's on the market today. It's very accessible. You can see this is a very finely ground rice flour. It looks like a cornstarch and it is used as a thickener in many countries. Then we can talk about our gluten-free, multi-purpose baking mix. And usually those are a variety of two different types of rice flours that are milled together. And then they add in a little bit of tapioca starch and potato starch. So you get this really nice flour-like feel to it. It looks and feels more like flour than any other product that we've got up here. And you can use the gluten-free pretty much cup for cup, just as you would regular flour in a recipe. So if you're following a recipe for a cake, pie crust, popovers, you can go ahead and use this multi-purpose mix. The last product that we have here today is a cornmeal, which is a coarse ground corn flour. This is great for making corn bread. It does have a little bit of a grittier texture. So if you wanted to make pancakes or muffins or something else using cornmeal and you wanted to have a more refined taste, then you would use a corn flour. So here we have our very popular and readily available gluten-free baking alternatives.